I heard about in Montgomery, Alabama, how the boycott is going and we are surely dedicated to our march. We will not change the march. This march is what will break Jim Crow back. I, Martin Luther King, suffered when I was riding on the bus for 90 miles standing on the back of the bus. I will not permit our people to be treated unjustly, unfair. I will fight till the end because of segregation. Segregation is a injustice to any people to turn dogs on us as black people is a crime in itself. Yes, I was reading the papers yesterday and I'm reading it again today concerning the boycott. Yes, until justice ring out from every corner, I will continue my peaceful demonstration. In this prison, they said that I'm a criminal. But I'm a criminal for justice, if that's what you want to call me. I will not lay sleeping while blacks are not permitted to drink at the water fountain. White signs saying whites and blacks. And when we go to the restaurants, we have to do sit-ins. My demonstration is nonviolent. I've always been nonviolent. Justice shall cry out over the valleys. I might be in jail, but I'm not bound. I'm free. You know, I was thinking about the other day, uh, Mississippi, and Mississippi, how they killed the little boys, little girls, they was at the school, they bombed the schools. And it really frustrates me to know that justice is not given. It says liberty and justice for all. And we are treated as second class citizens, even if we are treated as citizens at all. And I'm going to do something about it, because I am king. How you doing, Ralph? How you doing, Mark? <sighs> I'm doing very well. I had a problem concerning Montgomery, Alabama. I'm glad you had a jail. My body was bound, but I've always been free. You know, what about that Mississippi uh, water hose business? We had a we had a few, we had ran into a few problems. You know, they've been they used dogs to attack us, use water hose to knock us down, and and, and a few other followers had broke bones. And oh, I had broke bone. Do you think my campaign, this campaign, is? Is, is, is peaceful? It's peaceful. We need to get violent. Martin. No. We will be non-violent, Ralph. You understand? They coming at us with guns. You gonna throw a brick at them? That's foolish. Non-violent. You understand? They got, they got shima guns and we got bricks. How are we going to win? 
I think it's quite foolish, don't you? Yeah. My protest that I have established will not only help white people, but it will help blacks, whites, and all people. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. You know, I thought about when I was riding from Montgomery, Alabama, uh-huh, I stood up for over 90 miles, and i tell you, that's a long way. My, yes, 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 it was a long way. But the sad thing about it, no, no white people was on the front of the bus, and they made me go in the back of the bus. And I said, no way, I'm going to do that. You dumb crackers, you get back to the bus right now. You know the rules here in Montgomery, Alabama. You dumb get crackers, to, you get to the we back of the bus. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall overcome, we shall overcome, we shall overcome someday. Oh man, we were riding for three and a half hours, man. We'll soon be to Montgomery, Alabama. Martin, I still can't, I still can't believe that you Still with this nonviolent attitude. I believe what Malcolm X believes. Any means necessary. Oh, you don't forgot so soon concerning nonviolent, Ralph. How can how can you still say nonviolent? How can you still say nonviolent when they attacking us with dogs and with water hoses and killing our people? Listen, righteousness will crush the earth. If we go out, if you understand what I'm saying and begin to fight as them, then we know better than they are. Do you understand that? I can't, I can still, is something wrong with you, Martin? Don't you think we should, I should think we should go out and grab hand grenades and guns? I realize in Mississippi, how they blow up the church, the KKKs, and they bomb our schools and kill three little white boys and one lady was in the wheelchair. They kept the 40 little kids. I understand that. For a little girl. But our peaceful demonstration will prove that nonviolent is the way, Ralph. Do you understand that? Yeah, you're right. Nonviolent. Our Christianity is at trial. Do you understand that? Yes. Jesus himself said, turn the other cheek. Do you understand that? If they slap you on one side, turn the other one. Turn the other one? Yes. What about it? Got a problem with that, Ralph? They been throwing chucking rocks, hitting me all in my face. I'm nonviolent. This protest will be effected in Birmingham and also in Memphis, Tennessee. I'll be heading there within the next three weeks. You understand? Yes, yes I do. You have a point there. And I, I understand why you feel like you feel. But we can't fight fire with fire. The police chief said he would try like hell to keep the town segregated. My goal is for whites and blacks to come together. Our sick white brothers, we need to pray for them. What do you think about that? I, I still think, in some cases, is we, need, they, we need more than prayer. I come today to speak of a dream. Yeah, some call me a dreamer, but desegregated, I come to change history today. I have a dream that my four little children 
will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. Many black Americans moved from the south cities to the north. We were in such for a better life. And all we got was Jim Crow. All we got was poverty. All we got was sit back, niggas, sit back, sit back. But we as a people, as black people, will rise high above the shadows of death. And we shall, will overcome. Ah, uh, I'm talking about uh, the other day, we realized that uh, in Chicago ghettos, that was poor blacks in the black areas, and how they was treated like slaves. Oh, it's something when black people stand up and when we fight for equal justice and equality and that we will cry out and we will not hold our peace. We will not stand by and let Jim Crow and, and the KKK just beat us down. We will hold up our dignity no matter what because all men is created equal. In Birmingham jail, I realized when I was in prison that the bars had locked me in, but I was free in my mind. You can never change what's in my mind. Many of the brothers come to me and say, well, Martin, can't we do something about the job systems? I said that Oh, sure, we can do something about it, but we must practice the protest of non-violent. Non-violent. I was talking to Malcolm X the other day, and he said, by any means necessary. And I, I, I mean, Malcolm X was a, a, a very brilliant man, but me and him had our differences. But uh, I still went on with my protest non-violent. How can two walk together except they agree? Now, as I continue this speech to all of you that are listening to me, Dr. King, Martin Luther King, many say it to me, say, well, why don't you quit the protest? If I quit my protest, then we will not be able to set up better schools in Birmingham. We'll not be able to uh, come against the police force who's sicking dogs on our kids, hurting us as though we are second class citizens. And we will march for jobs. We will march until equal justice is given. I have a dream that one day, my four little children will live in a community where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the contents of their character. I have a dream. I have a dream tonight. All right, now, concerning the Civil Rights Act. Okay, this is a historical moment. All right, we realize that uh, many of our leaders have been dehumanized, mistreated. Justice was not given. They sick dogs on us. Uh-huh, they, they turn, the whites turn water hoses on our children in Chicago, Illinois, and in Birmingham, Alabama, and Mississippi, and also in South Carolina. It's a whole lot of uh, hatred, but hatred will crush the earth because hatred is something that will destroy all people. And we came 
to prove that our demonstration, our protest, will be effective. In the next year, I will be going uh, to uh, Tennessee and all around and many uh, places in Washington on uh, next year. And I will do that of a good report. I have a dream. But violence erupt. Whites, blacks was going through struggles of segregation all over the entire South and all over the North and, and at that time, sadly, the hope and joy of that summer of 1963 was for a short time of joy. Two weeks later, after the march on Washington, the races of Birmingham, Alabama took their revenge and blew up 16th Street Baptist Church, where many black people worship. During the service, four young girls was killed. Uh-huh. On the march on Washington, June 1963, after the Birmingham campaign, President John F. Kennedy announced a new civil rights bill that summer was filled with joy and success and freedom on that day. Over 200,000 people of all races and faith went to Washington to support our civil rights bill. I delivered one of the most famous speeches of all times. But I want to let you know today, I have a dream that white little boys and white little girls will come together and sing that old Negro Creed, free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we are free at last. I have a dream. After my release, I organize more protests, including a march of thousands of children after six weeks of the protests, the local politicians gave in and agreed on equal rights, the plan. I still realize that we are just as good as anyone else. We're just as good as anybody. Blacks, whites, I'm fighting that blacks and whites will Join hands together and sing that old Negro song. Free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, we are free at last. I have a dream. I have a dream today.